remind you that he has played first time out, so he will want to score well again this time. He doesn't need to have a zero score in his second ride. So the rider's being brought to the gate once again. Starters move away, up go the gates and we get underway with three starters. Oh, it was Kelvin Taylor that took over in the middle of the bend, that's for sure, as they go down that back stroke. It really was anybody in that bend. In time, Kelvin Tatum setting the pace. Trevor Banks in second at the moment, he's got in first, he's got in fourth. He's going to put some work to do back in fifth place. But he's already closing up on Mitch Gordon as Mitch goes slightly wide as Steve Scoville moves through on the inside. Mitch comes back at him though, he's not letting go that easy. And now Stevie Scoville has to look to go after Mick Braun. No makes it over his shoulder, no he's got some strong defenders behind him. He gave him the advantage in the middle of it, but Mitch has to turn that much tighter. Trevor Banks kept a much smoother line, keeps it going down the back straight, still holding second. Kelvin Tatum, though, let's not forget, is getting away from the, all of that battle that's going on. Steve Schofield now looks for the outside line into this drop turn. He's gone wide as Steve Schofield comes through. Well, oh, problems for Kelvin Tatum as he slows on this bottom turn. I think he's got a puncher. Doesn't mean he's still going to get a win. He looks over his shoulder. Trevor Banks just gets him. But what's terrific skill from Kelvin Tatum. Oh, you can see he's fighting to hang on to that machinery. He's felt that tire go. Brilliantly held on to it. And then indeed kept going to the...